First of all, I got to 500 subs! Oh my god, what a journey! And it was such a thrill to open up that YouTube email. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's because all of you, each of you, even if you haven't subscribed yet, which I hope you do, but you still watch, that's because of all of you. Big, gigantic hugs and thanks for that. Not to mention, Happy National Pen Day! One day late, of course, but hey, <laughs> who is checking? Um, hey there, I'm Grace, by the way. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thanks for visiting! I post videos about fountain pen and ink adventure, my own adventure, and experimentations. And just a heads up, just a heads up for this particular video, it's more of a chatty video. Anyway, let's get to why this video is about an update. I decided I, decided I want to do a regular update on where I am and what I'm up to, and if you have them, to answer any questions you have for me. Now, anything is fair game, although I know I will keep a few things private dependent upon what you ask, of course, but we'll only know that when you ask a question, so ask away. Um, what am I up to? That, my friends, is my mantra for life right now. I've had three businesses over the course of umpteen years that I've devoted a lot of my time, my energy, and wholehearted love to. And at the beginning of this year, dissatisfaction was what had settled in basically. Something was missing, but at the time I just couldn't put my finger on it. I just couldn't put my finger on what that was. A couple of days ago I actually read these words in one of the few newsletters I still opt in to receive. She wrote, i had been feeling the effects of burnout and was trying to recenter on what brought me joy and fulfillment in my work. So for the last six years, as of this recording, I've been a mindset and life coach for female entrepreneurs in particular. And I realized that although I thoroughly enjoy who I was supporting, I wasn't finding the joy in this work anymore. Plus, for me, the coaching industry had become a hodgepodge of constant marketing in a way that I no longer felt comfortable doing. There was a point that I could see more and more outside of myself that this work was about striving for a bigger monetary gain. And that has never been my intention or my goal with my, with my coaching work. Making money in my business, yes, that's, not, that's a given, but not to the exclusion of my soul work. Now, please know, I am describing my experience only. There are many, many well-qualified life coaches in a variety of fields to help support people wherever they need. I just didn't fit in anymore. So back in March or April, I forget which one it was, I made a conscious effort to slow everything down, including my own swirling thoughts, so I could hear my own voice and listen to what she thought I needed and what I was missing. And that was, yep, plain old fun, F-U-N. Doing things because it made my heart feel lighter and brought a big smile to my face. Doing things just because. I've been a creator, a crafter, the whole of my life. I love working with my hands. I love generating ideas and coming up with designs. I've always done that since I was 13. Making something from nothing, from scraps really. And I find I kind of miss that. I remember the joy of walking into my studio each day, a place that I've carved out everywhere we've moved, like a bedroom or a dining room. Each place we moved to, I carved out a space that I can call my own. And the last time that happened, I was a bookbinder. Quite a few years ago, I made custom journals and sketchbooks and notebooks, plus photo albums and boxes, all by hand. That was such kick-ass joy that I want to get that back. So the fact that I've decided to dive so deep into this fountain pen hobby it makes sense to me, to my brain, playing homage to the creator in me. So I started looking at fountain pens again, and then buying one here, and buying one there, 
And then I thought, I kind of like to share this new fun thing I'm thoroughly enjoying. So I reconstituted this channel and here I am. Now you get to watch and I get to enjoy the making process once again. Only now the creation part for me is about making these videos about this is like a fun hobby making these videos about my fun hobby of pen and ink collecting. That's what I want to say. So who knew that that could be a thing? Not I, send the burnt out girl. <laughs> so as of this video with my 500 and growing subscribers, thank you, thank you, I went all in and now have a nice selection of pens, but I decided to put myself on a buying moratorium, at least for the time being. Your girl was going crazy because I was eyeing more and more and more expensive pens. And the pen budget was like, hold on, Grace, hold on, we can't do all of that. And one of the videos coming up, actually, is my burgeoning and beautiful pen collection. And by the way, when I say the pen budget, I don't mean Hubs clamping down on me. He's just not like that. In fact, he's, he's like, buy them all. Just girls, do what you got to do. But I need to have a little decorum, right? A little discretion, right? I have not, though, stopped buying inks. Inks for me are like shoes for others. You can't have too many of them, and the sample route is where I go full steam ahead. As for what's coming up video-wise, one of the things I really want to do is an end-of-year pen collection, which I told you about um, just now. It's really amazing to me to look at all the pens I own, these beauties, and so I want to do uh, like a yearly pen collection thing. I also want to do a monthly update, maybe quarterly, about what's happening with Grace. More chatty, like this vlog. I've also finally created a fountain pen companion page because I want to start swapping inks, and that's the easiest way to, for people to see what inks I have. Plus, I still want to do something paper, a paper something, to record the pen and ink pairings I did each month for Currently Ink. And because I can't help it, once a creator, always a creator, I've been working on a design for a new pen and ink log, a pen and ink journal, so to speak. I'm so excited to reveal that to you later. Seems you just can't take the handcrafter out of the creative. That would be me. Okay, I've chatted long enough. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. I truly appreciate you being here. I think that getting to 1,000 subs just thinking about it right now. I will be doing a giveaway. It seems appropriate to celebrate the big three zeros that'll come. More about what that entails later when I hit that number, because I'm about to hit that number. I know I am. One thing I know for sure is that it will include a handmade journal, because that's what I do. All right, see you back here for the next video. Toodles! Bye!